This video is going to show you how you can add social bookmarking buttons to the bottom of your WordPress.com posts. Social bookmarking sites like Dig, Delicious, and StumbleUpon are an excellent way to drive traffic to your website. However, if you're using WordPress.com, there's no easy way to add these buttons to the bottom of your individual posts. I discovered what I think is a pretty easy way to add these buttons to your blog posts described on another blog, and I want to share that technique with you in this video. Now, just a quick disclaimer up front here. While I have been described as being vaguely techy, my expertise is really in marketing. So while this technique worked for me using my Windows XP machine, I cannot guarantee that's going to work for everybody, but hopefully it will work for the majority of people that watch this video and will help you generate traffic to your blog posts. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go to the website or the blog where I found this method that I'm going to describe. And it's a blog called Mamado Inside. And the URL is Mamado, which is M-A-M-A-D-O dot WordPress dot com. When you get to this site, Go over to the right here to the Categories section and click on the first option, which is Auto Hotkey. That's going to bring you to this post from March 15th of 2007 titled Adding Social Networks Buttons to WordPress.com Posts, which is exactly what we want to do. There are two files that you're going to have to download to make this work, and they're both located in the comments section of this blog post. So go over here to the comments and click on it so you can see all the comments. And the first file you're going to download is going to be in comment number four. And this link here is for a program called Auto Hotkey. So I'm going to click on the link and go out to the site for this program. And at the top here, there's a link for download. Click on that. So the first option here is the Auto Hotkey program, and over here is the zip file. So you can go ahead and right-click and download that zip file. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you download that file, go back to the Mamado Inside blog. And again, in the comments section, we're going to scroll down a little bit to comment number 10. And here's a link for the second file that you're going to need. And it's a file socialsignature.zip, and that you can just download directly from this comment here. Again, I've done it already, but you can go ahead, right-click, and save it to a folder on your computer. Next, we're going to go to the folder where you downloaded both of those files, and you're going to extract them to a folder on your computer. And I've already done that. I've extracted them to this Add Social Bookmarks folder. And you'll see there are three folders and a bunch of files. Now, these bottom two files are the ones that were in that socialsignature.zip file. The template.txt we'll talk about a little bit later, but for now we're going to concern ourselves with this social.ahk file. You're going to double-click this file. Now, the first time you do this, Windows may bring up a pop-up screen that's going to ask you to choose a file or rather choose a program that you're going to use to open this social.ahk file with. If that's the case, then just browse out to the folder where this autohotkey.exe file is and select this file because that's the program you're going to use to open the social.ahk file. So once you've done that and you've double-clicked on that file, if you look down here in the system tray, you're going to see this icon, the green square with the white H in the middle. Right-click on that icon and select Social Signature. That's going to bring up this pop-up screen that's going to prompt you to enter a URL. Now this URL is going to be the permalink address of the blog post that you want to add the social bookmarking buttons to. So to get that permalink address, we're going to need to go out to your blog. Next, I'm going to go out to the dashboard for my blog at WordPress.com, which is the Swiss Money blog. And by the way, Swiss has nothing to do with the 
currency of Switzerland. It stands for Sales While I Sleep Soundly. And I'm going to click on the Manage option here in my dashboard. And eventually I'm going to add these social bookmarking buttons to all of the posts that I've written. But for now, I want to add it to one that's been pretty popular that I'd like to try and drive even more traffic to using social bookmarks. And that's this one here, why most websites have it wrong. It's not about us, it's about you. So I'm going to click on the title of that post. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on View This Post. Two reasons I want to do this. Number one is I'd like to scroll down to the bottom of the post and show you I have nothing up my sleeve. There are no social bookmarking buttons at the bottom of this post right now. And the other thing is I'm going to go up here and get the URL, the permalink address for this post, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into this pop-up window from AutoHotKey. And I'm going to click OK. The next thing that comes up is this little pop-up that says, please enter title. Now this is the title that you want to be associated with your blog posts if and when somebody recommends it in a social bookmarking site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my blog's URL, swissmoneyblog.com, and then the title of the post. Okay, I've typed that in there. I'm going to hit OK. And now it looks like nothing's happened. Actually, something pretty cool has happened. And to see what that is, I'm going to go back to the screen where I managed that post. And you're going to make sure that you're in the HTML tab for the post. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, put in a couple of spaces. I'm going to right click and say paste. And now all of a sudden, a bunch of code gets added to the bottom of my post. And this is the code that is going to add the social bookmarking buttons to this blog post. And you can see that the permalink address for this post has automatically been added as well as the title that I assigned to it. And it's done this for a bunch of social bookmark sites. You can see Delicious here. Next one down, let's see, here's Dig. And we'll, we'll look at the others when we see it on the website. So I'm going to save. Now that it's saved, let's go view this post again. And this time, when we scroll down to the bottom, there they are, all the social bookmarking buttons. Pretty cool, huh? Now, before I let you go, there's one more thing I want to show you. We talked about that template.txt file before. This template.txt file contains the code that adds the social bookmarking buttons to your blog posts. So if you want to go in and edit this code at all to maybe remove some of the social bookmarking sites that are currently in the code or maybe add some others, this is a place where you do it. And that's all there is to it. I hope that you have found this video informative and helpful. Now it's just up to you to start writing those posts that people want to share and bookmark, and hopefully that will trigger an avalanche of visitors to your blog.